concert and of course uh, very much the the people that will come to to see and to 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 hear us um, I cannot say much more than that I'll be happy if you may have some questions and I try to answer them thank you you have this one I don't need that Tātad, I, I, I can feel. I, I, I'm very sorry. I don't. I didn't got what you said. Why is this the last tour? Is it too scary to say it's final? If this is a yeah, well, just one second, please. Thank you. Yes. Uh, well, this is the final tour in the sense that. I always thought that before I completely stopped singing, I would love to go to the places where I have been singing for more than 40 years, 45 years exactly. And in this sense is the, what we call the final tour. But this final tour can, can be long, can be two, three years. So therefore, uh, it's not a, a, a deadline where I'm going to 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 finish uh, to finish singing. So, but it somehow is is the final tour because of what I said. Thank you. Uh, Plan Returning to Latvia for the second time. The question is if you have anything you want to see in Latvia, especially, or what you want to do Latvia. Unfortunately, uh, when we are traveling to perform, to work, we have very little time for us. And I always uh, find it very, very difficult to be a singer and a tourist. But of course, uh, you have a beautiful place. I have been in Yomala a few years ago, but a beautiful area with wonderful uh, holiday resorts and uh, beautiful villas, etc. So uh, I try to, to enjoy as much as I can. I try to get to know as much as I can, but it's not easy. Ne, jednom ne pjećeš mi svoj. 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 
un ir grūti būt dziedātājiem, un ir grūti būt vienlaikus arī turistam. Es, protams, ir bijis jūrmāli, un kruču stājās ir priekšējā reizi, kas ir bijis šī skaista vieta, skaista skura, un skaista nav vienlāli. Bet viņš, protams, mēģina maksimāli izbaudīt, ka par iespējams esot šeit. Man ir jautājums, ja? Katram maksalniecam ir jāpārstāv savu dzīvi, ja? Ja nav nosmukums pēc 75 gadu, nebūt, tad šī te turnē ar ko viņš dzīvi grib, jā, tā ne ar maksu. Precizējiet tos beigus. Jā, ar ko viņš būs dzīvi, ar bērniem, ar radiniekam, ja nebūs maksu, ja kums ar tas nebūs, jā. Nu, viņi put that for artist, jā, art is in life. What are you planning to do after retiring? If you plan your one thing, how you will spend your days? Well, I have a, a very important uh, program for the day I stop singing. Uh, as you probably know, I'm the president of uh, Jose Carreras Leukemia uh, Foundation, and I will dedicate all my time and my efforts and my enthusiasm to that cause the day I, I stop singing. I have it very clear. Kazinā <coughs> How would you describe your program, this final tour? Oh, the kind of program we hope uh, the audience like, a combination of, of different styles of, of music, uh, from opera to Spanish and Neapolitan songs and, well, what, what I'm doing. Uh, quite often in the last uh, years. But that doesn't mean that in every concert the program is going to be the same, because I get bored of singing always the same. <laughs> no, besides jokes. No, I, I, I think that, uh, as I said, is the kind of program I hope the audience like for the kind of concert we are presenting. Thank you. Jūs sēdēt, ka šī programma būs tāda kāda patikas auditorija. Tur būs dažādas filmu kompozīcijas, gan no operas, gan no dziesnas. Un tas, ko viņš pēdējos gados bieži arī izpilda. Un viņš nekad nekad to vien to pašu pilnīgi tāpat, jo tas viņi vienkārši gar laiko. Un viņš tiešām ļoti cer, ka klausītājiem patiks šī. Thank you. Uh, it's very difficult to find the, the words for people that they are ill, that they are suffering from a disease, particularly a severe disease like leukemia. But I always say the same. The, the patient has, in my opinion, to think that the, there is one possibility within one million to beat the battle, to beat the disease, the, the patient has to think this is his possibility and to fight with determination. Uh, more than that, I don't know what to say to, to a patient, or to try to give them always my, 
affection and my support, that's for sure very also important for them. Not mine, the, the, the support and affection from all of us. And second question, uh, do you still meet often with Placido Domingo? If I still? Meet often with Placido Domingo? If I, if I, if I see him or... If yeah, I, yeah, if, you, if you're still hanging out with him. Oh yes, uh, and I'm happy to say this. Uh, we have, besides the concerts we did together, uh, the, with, together with Luciano and so on, but we did also other concerts um, with other singers, sopranos, uh, logically. Uh, and we have a wonderful, not only professional and artistic relationship, but personal relationship. And uh, uh, there is only one one uh, argument between us. He is a fan from Real Madrid and I'm a fan from Barcelona. But for the rest, we are very close to them. Well, the, I been proposed the orchestra, and I knew the prestige of the orchestra, and uh, we accepted immediately. And also, Maestro David Jimenez, he is going to be the conductor, and uh, well, I'm sure is a, a good opportunity for us to perform with such a, a nice, a nice orchestra. So we are very pleased with that. So, uh, how is different performing uh, with a conductor which is close relative from uh, performing with someone who uh, is not? Well, Maestro Jimenez is the conductor I like uh, and I uh, prefer to, to, to sing with. And besides that, it happens to be a relative of mine, my, my nephew. Uh, but the first reason why I, I perform with him is because I like the way he feels for music, I like the way he conducts, I like the way he accompanies me and has the right sensitivity. So uh, 
the, the fact that he's a relative of mine is just anecdotic. So it's very secret for us because, sorry, nephew, it's for, in Latvian, yeah. the boss, uh, the son of the sister of the brother, which song he is, so we didn't know. The question is the, the same word. word. Nephew, nephew in, in Latvian we have a different word for if it's a, a son of your sister or of your brother. So she is no, it's a son of my sister. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What else make me happy? Yeah, hobbies maybe. Ah, there are so many things that make me happy. To be with my friends, to be with my family, to be with my grandchildren. I got five grandchildren, so it's, uh, it's always very exciting and very uh, tender to be with them. But there are so many other things, mm -hmm. uh, like reading, like um, I'm, I like very much also uh, art, I like, uh, I like uh, sports, uh, so uh, the, the life is full of opportunities and uh, I'm, 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 we are very, very privileged that we can uh, 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 approach to all these uh, wonderful things. Uh, of course, singing is, uh, has been and it is my life and music as well, but there are other things in life uh, to enjoy, many. conversation about that, talking about the political situation in Spain with General Franco, the dictatorship of General Franco for f almost 40 years and all that happens there. Of course, my family was just the other side of the river, uh, also in the civil war. So therefore, uh, we went through difficult times like many other people in Spain. And uh, I learned a lot from, from my family about what is uh, real democracy, what is, about what is freedom, about what is respect for everyone. 
countries like Catalonia, they should have the right of to choose what they want to be and not to have an imposition. So, in my opinion, my humble opinion, we should be able to have a referendum where the Catalan people could express their opinion, their feelings, and their, and their uh, 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 ideals, you know. I hope this is going to happen. Then we will see if that will bring us to independence or not. But uh, the first thing is that the people has to express them, uh, themsel themselves about what, what they want to be. Not the politicians, the people. This is the real democracy. People, not, dem not politicians. Of course, I'm sure it's a beautiful song, but I was not aware. Thank you, and I will inform myself about that. Thank you very much. So do you see in uh, today's opera houses three tenors that could form something similar as your trio? They are wonderful young, ten the young uh, in the new generation, wonderful tenors. And it's only up to them to decide if they want to do something like we did, to have the stamina and to have the courage. But I'm sure from the point of view of quality of the artist, for sure there are more than three that could do something similar. Varbūt 
Which one? Could you no, no, I don't them? understand this. <laughs> <laughs> well, just to mention three. Jonas Kaufman, Juan Diego Flores, Roberto Alaña, three. I could mention many others, but these are the three the, the, the great that came to my mind. And maybe Placido Domingo as well, because... <laughs> <laughs> Which is the place in, in the world that well, where you feel your best and the, the most comfort? The, the place in the world where yes. I prefer to be yeah. or that, that I enjoy most? Yes. Well, I'm going to be chauvinistic. Barcelona. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a city that offers great quality of life uh, in, every, in every aspect, from the cultural point of view, for the weather point of view, for the gastronomic point of view, for the sports, and of course for art. Uh, we've got great museums, we've got opera houses, we've got uh, the concert halls, I think. Uh, as I said, I'm chauvinistic, but I think Barcelona is a, a great place uh, where to be and where to live.